Hello, good yo-yo people. I'm Nate. I'm a sponsored player by G Squared Yo-Yos, and this is another episode of Nate Reviews Yo-Yos. Today, I have the privilege of reviewing not a yo-yo, but another string manufacturer. I've, this is my second string that I reviewed. This string, this time, is from Zipline String. They're a brand new company. So this is my review of the Zipline String Yo-Yo String Line. All right, here we go. Oh, but first, an unboxing. So the first section of these reviews typically is the uh, in the hand section and then on the on the string section. But since this is a string, um, it's going to be a little different. Um, all right. So first, let's talk about in the hand. Um, just kind of give you an overview of what Zipline has to offer. They have a huge variety of different colors. Um, pretty much everything for every taste and every kind of matching for every yo-yo. Um, I typically, I, I've thrown for years just solid white string, and I'm still very partial to white string, but I tell you what, um, Zipline has gotten me kind of hooked on some of these different colors um, and co color combinations. It's kind of fun. They also come in two different thicknesses. They have the regular, which I'll have on the uh, case file 001 here, and then they also have a thick um, version as well, which I have on the Banshee. All right. Uh, now, this string in particular, um, Jeremy, who runs uh, a Zipline, super cool dude. If you don't check, if you haven't checked him out and checked out Zipline on Instagram, you definitely should do that or on Facebook. Uh, I'll have the information below in the description box of where to uh, find them, their website, and all that stuff, as well as my information as usual. All right. But uh, I've had this string this particular on this banshee since Ohio State, so that would be about three weeks here. So I haven't changed this. So I've been playing with it consistent uh, since then. I play this banshee daily, um, so it's had quite a few hours in. I haven't actually logged the hours, but it's it's a fair amount. Um, normally, if I was playing um, a cheaper string, a bulk string, for instance, uh, I would probably have changed it a long time ago. Um, particularly because it loses its balance and it frays up pretty quickly. Now there is some fraying in here, but seriously for three weeks, I'm going to continue playing this. Now one thing I haven't actually done, and I, I would be curious um, if Zipline could maybe input a little bit here or other people who've had their string for a while, it's quality enough string that I would even test considering throwing in some jean pockets, you know, when it's starting to fray or starting to lose some of that bounce after a while and throwing in the wash and see if that bounce comes back. I've had some string, um, some boutique string like this that's a uh, higher end string that tends to, to bounce back uh, at least once or twice. So you can play it over and over and over again. Because that's honestly, there's a couple things that you want in boutique string compared to bulk string. Um, you want to get your money's worth, all right? So you're, you're paying a fair amount. Um, his strings come in five packs, um, so you can get a lot of different colors. That's kind of nice. So if you're looking for normally a 10 pack of something, you can get one of one color and one of another. In fact, he has a lot of combinations where it's like one or two colors of one uh, with a bunch of others. So you can get a five pack of just like a mixed thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, but another thing that you're looking for for a more expensive string, you want to make sure it's worth um, its longevity um, so that it should last longer, um, not just play better, not just uh, have a quality feel to it that boutique string should have, uh, but it also should last a much, much longer. Uh, like I said, I also have the, um, the, the, they also offer the regular thickness, which um, I'm not sure the exact string count. I haven't like pulled it apart to count it. I should have done that, um, but maybe they can answer that. It's not super, super thin. It's hard to tell on the camera here, but it's not super thin at all. 
Um, it has a, a fairly fairly decent thickness, and it's just I don't really feel it's, it's maybe a little bit softer in the thick, um, but not much. Um, the thicker is a little bit softer, maybe, uh, but really it's still super soft. All right, hey, um, before we go really any further, let's just go ahead and throw it, okay? All right. Um, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the uh, regular thickness. Um, I've been playing with this for a couple of weeks now, um, and I don't know if I really have a preference. Uh, typically, I, I kind of gear towards thick string. Um, the main reason for that is because uh, thick string oftentimes is a little bit softer. I like a really soft string. Uh, I got baby hands, I guess. I don't know. Um, but uh, I feel like on certain yo-yos, um, this case file is working really well. It's got a fairly large gap in the case file, and um, the regular string finds a little bit better um, for a wider gap yo-yo. Very, very soft, keeps really nice tension, got a perfect amount of bounce. Now these strings are 100% polyester. All right, so for suicides and things like that, keeps it nice and open. See that loop there? I'll do suicides as much as I should. All right, let's take a look at the thick here. Um, like I said, I've had this string on here for about three weeks. A lot of play has gone into it. Um, and I'll tell you what, as far as just a little bit of fraying, it's I, I'm going to still play it a long time. I like to play my strings a long time. I, I regrettably probably play them too long. Your binds are going to be a little bit tighter, depending on the yo-yo, of course, depending on the width of the gap. Um, but the banshee has a pretty wide gap as well. But yeah, and really nice tight binds. Um, for whips, it's a little bit slower. I would just kind of comparing them back to back there. Um, the regular compared to the thick, um, the thick is just a little bit slower in the whip. Um, if that makes sense. So you can have a little bit more control. Again, it's gonna be getting used to that though. All right. It's all going to be preference. Um, more than anything, you just want to just want to try both of them out, uh, and that's always the best. Um, just to try them both and see what you like. That's my review of the uh, zipline strings. I really like this string a lot. I like that um, it, they make a ton of different varieties and two different thicknesses. But uh, also, I really like their involvement. Jeremy and his family uh, is super involved uh, in the community, really passionate about what he's doing. Um, and I think it's really super cool that he gets his kids involved. As a dad myself with three little boys, um, uh, you know, who my oldest is six. Uh, are just beginning to get involved in the things that you're passionate about. I'm, it's 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 a lot of fun, um, and uh, I think that's cool that Jeremy is involving his his family and all that, and uh, and that that love and that passion seems to be going right into the product here. So hope that you'll support Zipline. Check them out. Hey, um, welcome back. I wanted to mention one more thing. Um, we're gonna have a little giveaway here. Um, so it wasn't planning this, but uh, in the process of this review and uh, testing the string out, um, Jeremy over at Zipline had a little contest for a summer edition that he had. It's just like orange and pink and white mix of string uh, for a name contest. So if you're on Instagram, you might've seen that. And uh, I happened to actually win the naming contest. So this yo-yo string is gonna be called Psycho Sunbird. And it's actually got my name on it, named by G2 Nate. It's pretty awesome. Um, him and his kids picked out the name and so uh, yeah it just happened to be so um, he went ahead and sent me one of these packs and a couple extra things that I'm gonna give away um, to test out so you can play the string and try out zipline if you haven't had a chance or if you have you know how awesome it is so I'm gonna give away a five pack of these and I'm also gonna give away a players pack which uh, has some of my buddies over here on YouTube here's the simple simple thing all right all you need to do is make sure that you're subscribed to my channel you have to be subscribed and just comment 
um, and I will choose a random comment uh, next week or so. I'm going on vacation here tomorrow, so it might be a, a week. Give it till Friday the 14th. Friday the 14th, we'll do the cutoff. That'll be it. That's my review of the zipline. Good day and good yo-yo.